lives under. The troll? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Vikings. What is this? Oh, it's like little a... boomerangs. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're a kid, you can open them up. Yeah. And they, this part is sticky, and then you stick them to your nose. You stick them to your nose. Yeah, but they're That's too wet. That's not kind of what I imagined. <sighs> Vikings. <laughs> Captain Hammerstead for y'all. <laughs> it's for little Vikings, not big Vikings. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Is it normal that I'm touching the ground? I don't think so. Hey, I'm too heavy for this <laughs> How cute are these little houses? Are these like summer summer house? No, you're technically not allowed to like lay, live there. Nice little garden. It's people's community garden. Oh, it's a community garden, so this well, is no, not like... Community. Here's another good thing about Sweden, they have free public toilets that I bet are even clean, but I'm not gonna try it. Super Kaz, just sweets playing mini golf. The birds. Oh, this is so cool. There's no ice anymore though. That's what happens when you're like kind of above zero, right? <laughs> There's a little beach there because they don't actually have beaches. It's a natural beach, darling. Yeah. So natural. So the right one is Aka, the left one is Gustav, and the one in the middle, what should we name him? Lars. Lars. Darling, there wasn't a Lars in Nils Holgelson. We're adapting to modern times. <laughs> I don't like adaption. <laughs> I like the good old times. This is a sauna just yes. in the middle of nowhere? Yes, that's a sauna. So cool. Mm -hmm. So Swedish. Oh, look at Aka and Gustav. <laughs> And Lars, where's Lars? Lars is not here. Oh, his beak is so cute! <laughs> bar. Cafe bar. Cafe bar. Beautiful. <laughs> Cafe bar. So, this place, the Cafe Bar, yes? Yes. Ca say it, say it. The Cafe Bar. Cafe Bar. Closer, wasn't it? It's good. Smashed it. Totally sweet. The cafe ball is called Melkvist and it is in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and the Millennium Trilogy by Stig Larsson. That is the favorite cafe of the one of the book heroes, uh, Mika Blomqvist. Yes, and uh, we saw their house this morning. <laughs> it's this one? Mm -hmm. That's where she lives? Yes. Oh my god. The old town. Yes, Gamla Stan, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo. The island closest to us where you see the church spire. Yes. And that is. No, there. This. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, Rida Holmen. Rida Holmen. Mm -hmm. Rida Holmen. We're now on Sudamam. Mm -hmm. And that's Rida Holmen. Stockholm City. Stockholm City. And the island of Kungsholmen in the city hall. Yo. Kungsholmen is like the administrative island. It's like where all the law firms are and stuff like that. This island is like the hip kind of bohemian island. Oh. The old town is of course where no trip to Stockholm is complete without visiting. Those are boats. Those, Those are, are hostels. Those are sheeps. <laughs> SOS for love. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't know why, but I really like this pointy tower. And I hope it's not offensive to the Swedes that I call it a pointy tower. But I'm gonna call it like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> We're now going to the old city. And I've been there many times before because I'm practically local here. Oh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe this is we where we first walked together and we found a map and we talked about it and said that we will never carry a map because we don't want to look tourist and get robbed. Oh yeah, there was a map, but you won't get robbed here. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say everywhere, don't they? Oh, this is the, the beginning of the pointy tower from the inside! And that's where you told me you had a house in. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. And somewhere here, there was a scene from the uh, girl with a dragon tattoo. Yes. And I recognize it. I think it's there. I think it was there, right at the end. And, the and I'm not going to spoil it. Is yes. because the Bishop's Arms pub that's right here. Yes. It's where Michael Blomqvist Yo. and his lover Erika. Yo. Erika. Yo. That's where they would have drinks. Yeah. This is where it happened. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. There was a trash can here, mm -hmm. right? And then she saw them walking. <gasps> oh my god, true. That was such a sad moment. I felt so bad for her. 
Can I just say 7-Eleven in Sweden has like heaps of vegan options? Uh, yes. They have an oom sandwich, oom sandwich. They have the ice cream with the rice milk, which is so good. And they have uh, cliff bars. I really like 7-Eleven here. <laughs> the three buildings, this square, yes. it's called Stortoya, yeah. and this is where the word bloodbath comes from, right. uh, because many hundred years ago this was the site of the Stockholm blood bath, the Stockholm bloodbath, where like 80, more than 80 people were executed and beheaded, then it started raining, and so the drains filled up with sewage and other ways, and then the blood was like knee high here, and the newspapers remarked, this looks like a bloodbath, hence the word bloodbath. It's also where we have our Christmas market. <laughs> <laughs> Which shop? This shop. What is this, this shop? This is my favorite shop oh. in the old town. It's, oh, it's like maritime antiques. <laughs> I thought you didn't really like maritime stuff. I love maritime stuff. But this is where, when I was 18 years old, the Greenpeace ship Arctic Sunrise was tied up here. And so I volunteered as like a night security person on the ship for a week. And that's when I first found out about Sea Shepherd and I knew I wanted to go to sea. That's when you realize it's what you wanted to do? That's what I realized oh. is what I really, really wanted to do. Oh, that's so sweet. Happened right here. This is where all the magic started. All right, so we walked all the way here to show you the vagina guy, which is this guy. Darling, tell us a story. The man who built this building was like an architect of some sorts. Yeah. And his wife was unfaithful to him. Yeah. So he decided to make a stone carving of her genitals, which you see right underneath the face. Yes. The genitals. Boop, 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 boop. And that's his anguished face. And when it rains here, it's designed in such a way that like the tears come out of his eyes and he weeps on the genitals. Yeah. Very strange. There you go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that in the Stockholm sightseeing guide. <laughs> you only get it here on Genio Mania and Future Harvested. <laughs> Darling, what do you think of us having a show together? I think we're doing a show together right now, my love. I mean, like something with a title, like Genio and Peter show. <laughs> no? I think that is a lovely idea. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you.